This time I'm going to one of the oldest cities in Poland, Opole. It is located by the river Oder and, thanks to its unusual nature, has received the nickname of Polish Venice. For more than three centuries Opole was a part of Germany, and now it has become the capital of Polish songs. This is a small and not too famous Polish city, which also has great potential for the future. Hello everyone, today I came to uh, Opole, it is a small town uh, in the south of uh, Poland uh, and it's uh, also a center of a uh, region and uh, this name Opole, uh, there is a local legend that it came from uh, a history when uh, a king, uh, he lost uh, in the woods uh, near this place and uh, uh, in several days where, when he uh, finds uh, the way out of the forest uh, uh, he um, said, oh, pole, what means in English something like, oh, field, uh, because uh, pole is uh, in Polish field. Uh, of course, it's um, more like a funny uh, legend, uh, but um, if uh, we are uh, talking about uh, some true story, it is a very common uh, name uh, of the city for Poland. Uh, we can find a lot of uh, different uh, Opole cities in uh, other uh, parts of Poland too, and uh, it came from uh, an old uh, medieval uh, administration organiza administrative organization of uh, the settlement uh, when uh, uh, people lived uh, uh, near uh, the uh, field, uh, and that's why uh, this uh, name of the cities came. And now I'm standing in the city center, it's a market uh, square, old market square, or rynek in uh, Polish, and uh, a lot of uh, buildings, uh, a lot of architecture, they were inspired by uh, Italian architecture, by Florence, uh, and uh, especially this Ratusz or city council uh, building. Uh, uh, it was built like in Florence, um, I think that uh, anyone can uh, judge uh, himself, uh, is it uh, good or not, uh, but um, this uh, uh, market square was uh, very important in medieval uh, ages, uh, because uh, here were um, a crossroad of uh, different uh, uh, trade uh, paths uh, of uh, medieval, and uh, that's why this city was uh, quite uh, wealthy too. Uh, here we can also find a lot of uh, uh, cute uh, buildings uh, uh, near this uh, market square, uh, but they are not uh, too historical because uh, in the Second World War uh, Opoli was uh, uh, destroyed a lot, and especially on this market square, uh, many of these buildings were destroyed, and when they were rebuilt uh, by Polish architects, uh, uh, they decided to make them in Baroque style, uh, but um, before that uh, they were in uh, different uh, architectural uh, style. One of the most popular uh, places in uh, Opole is uh, Opolish Venice, or uh, in other words, even uh, I, usually someone names uh, Opole like uh, uh, Polish Venice. Uh, it's because of uh, this part of the city uh, when, uh, where you can see uh, some buildings uh, near the river. It is River Odra. And uh, you can find uh, uh, this building that are uh, quite uh, similar to Venice in some way. 
and uh, it looks uh, really nice, but I think that uh, uh, the only uh, thing that uh, could be better here is uh, the size of this Venus, because it's uh, quite small. Uh, anyway, in the evening, uh, when it's dark, uh, uh, you can also walk here and uh, watch uh, this uh, building because uh, they have uh, really nice lighting. And it is uh, uh, really interesting about uh, the construction of this building because they appeared on the ruins of uh, city walls and uh, it's kind of uh, an interesting optimization, but if uh, uh, city walls uh, were here for uh, centuries and centuries and uh, they also uh, had some uh, uh, difficult uh, times, yes, with some sieges. Uh, so I think that uh, these buildings uh, can uh, stand on the ruins of these uh, walls, maybe even forever. Almost in any part uh, of uh, Opole you can find a river, uh, river Odra, uh, and you can also find a couple of islands here with uh, good walking zones, uh, uh, with uh, some boulevards also, and here you can also find a, a very interesting old uh, a bridge. It is a uh, one penny bridge, uh, or in Polish it's uh, Groszowy almost. Uh, uh, its name came uh, from uh, the prices because when it was built uh, uh, to walk uh, from one side of the river to another you should pay uh, one uh, grosh or one penny. And uh, it's very interesting that uh, all parts of this bridge uh, they are uh, made uh, by hand, uh, handmade uh, bridge, uh, craft uh, <laughs> bridge. Uh, and um, of course uh, now it is free but as a very responsible tourist i can also uh, leave here one grosh uh, a couple of times today uh, in uh, shops uh, they didn't give me uh, one uh, grosh because no one have uh, such a small amount of money but i found one grosh and uh, uh, i will uh, leave it here like uh, my uh, payment for this bridge And also here near the Penny Bridge uh, uh, or uh, Groszowy Most uh, in Polish, uh, you can find a uh, really nice uh, place, uh, place uh, Grabówka. Uh, here are a lot of Nalesniki, uh, uh, Polski, or it will be uh, pancakes, uh, pancakes uh, with uh, different fillings. Uh, I tried with chicken, spinach uh, and um, something else and I also um, took here this uh, French style soup, uh, uh, onion soup, uh, and uh, all uh, dishes are quite nice here. Uh, and this place is uh, really cheap uh, for this uh, um, pancakes. It was uh, something like uh, four dollars, uh, maybe yeah, something like that. Uh, and uh, you can also. Um, see how it is cooked uh, and um, there are some uh, zone with a view to this uh, Penny Bridge and also to this uh, um, River Odra. So it's a quite nice uh, place where you can eat if you uh, feel uh, hungry in uh, uh, Opole.
Here in Apollo, we can also find a castle. Uh, to be honest, not a whole castle, but only a tower, because uh, the castle was uh, destroyed uh, in the beginning of the uh, 20th century, because there was no funding uh, for this uh, castle and it wasn't in a good condition at these times. Uh, and uh, it was uh, times of uh, German Opolia. Uh, if uh, we will talk about uh, Opolia's history, uh, it uh, often wasn't Polish. It was uh, uh, Czech, uh, it was Bohemian uh, in the beginning, then it was a Polish period, uh, but uh, before uh, 1945, uh, before the end of uh, the Second World War, Opoli was German and it was German more than for three uh, centuries. And uh, even when it was uh, an election, if uh, um, Opoli's citizens want to stay in Germany after the Great War, uh, most uh, of uh, citizens answered that uh, they uh, want to be in Germany, not in Poland. Uh, it was uh, a 20 to 1 for uh, Germany. And uh, um, at these times, uh, before uh, the Great War and the Second World War, um, the castle was destroyed uh, and uh, here uh, was set up a park, uh, also with a pond, uh, and uh, now we can also find a fountain and uh, some uh, zone from, uh, for walking. I notice how she practices piano on her thigh, imagining the keys inside her mind. Does she notice the things I notice? How her eyes wander the room when it gets quiet. Searching for solutions in the silence, but I'm here. And uh, here in Napoleon you can find also a second castle. It is an upper castle and uh, it's not far away from uh, the first one, I think something like uh, one kilometer. And uh, of course uh, the main question is uh, uh, why there are two castles here in uh, Opolia. It's a uh, place uh, without some uh, reasons why there should be uh, two castles. And uh, uh, the answer is uh, pretty simple. It is connected with uh, inheritance. And uh, uh, for uh, one period, uh, there were two owners of uh, Opolia. And the second one, uh, he decided to build uh, another castle for himself uh, as uh, his uh, residence. Uh, uh, and um, it was uh, two parts uh, that uh, uh, were property of uh, two different people. They were relative, but um, already from different families. And uh, uh, to be honest, this uh, castle uh, was also destroyed uh, even earlier than the first one. It was destroyed, uh, I think, in uh, 18th century and only now one tower uh, came to our times uh, where uh, the museum is located right now. Uh, but something uh, is missing in Napoli because you have uh, um, there were uh, two different castles, but now none of them exist. Um, only two towers um, came to our times. So it was my video from Apollo, my small trip to uh, the city and uh, here was quite nice. Uh, uh, yes, uh, I didn't expect a lot from the city, 
Uh, and uh, if you go in here without high expectations, I think that uh, it is a great uh, location for a, a day or weekend trip. And uh, here you can find a lot of uh, small but cute uh, places uh, where you can spend some time, where you can walk, what you can visit here. And uh, Opole is one of these uh, Polish uh, cities, uh, small cities uh, that can uh, be really friendly and um, really warm. So that's all for today. Subscribe to the channel for new uh, travel videos and um, see you in next videos. Bye!